guys, my name is Jane Dow. I'm an expert editorial stylist, creative director, and author. Stylist initially was for beginning stylists. I even get photographers now, like you taught me so much just from reading a book. So it's actually for any type of wardrobe stylist, whether you're starting or you're a veteran like myself that needs some polishing because writing this book, I learned more about the craft. So I'm sure if I've been doing this for 11 years, somebody else who's been doing this for five or six could still learn something from the book. You can kind of polish some stuff up. So it's for all fashion stylists. I wanna say almost three years ago, I moved back to Houston from living in DC. And I had a friend who was an accountability partner for me. And I was telling her that I wanted to make a coffee table book at the time. And I wanted to do a look book. And it's just like things that I styled. And uh, before I could do it, she had already reproduced two copies of my book. So I was like, okay, well, I can't do this anymore. What's the next best thing for me? And I did a book with commentary in it, just saying, okay, this is how you style. But then after that, I started doing Dear Stylist on Instagram. And I did notice that people wanted content and they wanted, like, they wanted to know what I thought about things. So that's what Dear Stylist came from. I just wanted to expand on what I already have been doing. The first chapter helps you identify what type of stylist you want to be in the first place. Because a lot of people think um, that there's one type of styling. Like I could dress or somebody complimented me, so let me just be a fashion stylist. They don't know there's editorial, there's commercial, there's film, which all have different processes and protocols. So that was my, I think my most long-winded chapter. And uh, I kind of, that was my favorite one, kind of helping you identify who you are. The most common mistake starting stylists make is thinking they know everything because they already have clothes in their closet or somebody said, oh, hey, you can dress, you can be my stylist. Like, it's so much that goes into being a wardrobe stylist that people don't know. The first mistake you make is thinking you already know. First, I had to figure out what my aesthetic was to begin with. I experimented with a bunch of different kind of concepts, but now I have it to where I'm detailed and minimal at the same time, but I always add the color blocking effects. Nothing at all is glamorous about being a stylist, opposed to being the actual client. That's about as glamorous as it's gonna get. You spend a lot of time doing paperwork and looking at receipts and nothing about it is glamorous for the actual stylist. Now, there will be some times where you'll get invited to stuff or there's perks, but as far as the glamour, that's... My most favorite client will always be Timberland. He trusted my judgment. He trusted everything I had to say. He gave me my space and his energy was so perfect on set. He just made it easy. Not to mention he closed down the Gucci store for me to pull clothes, but <laughs> um, it was just very easy. Nothing went wrong, and I would work with him time and time again. I would tell young Jane Doe to be patient, but I'm still telling old Jane Doe that, so I'm just gonna go with just chill. <laughs> Everything will work itself out. A boss woman is someone who knows her purpose in life and fulfills her purpose in life and not just know her purpose in life and sit on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for um, a great read or if you're looking to expand your skill set in fashion stylists, 
I would definitely say go out and purchase Dear Stylist, a guide to upgrading your fashion style and experience on www.xojando.com.